Good afternoon, Grand Harbor. I'm Ben Stewart. I'm your head golf professional, and uh, we're going to start a little, a little tip of the week segment going on in the uh, weekly emails. So first tip we're going to do is uh, chipping. So I'm going to do a couple uh, chips, talk about what, uh, what I'm trying to do, and uh, go from there. So first of all, chipping. If you don't learn anything else about chipping, the one thing you have to do is trust the loft of your golf club. The last thing you ever need to do with a club of this nature, especially of the wedge that I've got here, my hand's 58 degrees, is try to get the ball up in the air. You try to get underneath the ball. This thing is designed to get the ball in the air for you. So basically, you almost have to be at a, in a mindset where you're trying to de-loft the club to make this thing work properly. Never want to try to scoop the ball. So I'll try to demonstrate. Hit a little pitch shot here, maybe about 10, 12 yards. I play the ball in the middle of my stance. Hand slightly ahead and try to hit down on the golf ball and let the ball kind of run up the face of the wedge and it kind of activates the loft. So if you do nothing else and think about nothing else about what we're talking about today, one thing you should keep in mind when you're chipping, trust the loft of your golf club. If you have any other issues with your chipping or any part of your golf game, come see Troy or I and we'd be happy to help you out.